So we all want our kids to succeed in school, but you know, some struggle to learn, and many times the diagnosis ends up being dyslexia. Well, Tom Baker joins us this morning to talk about a free dyslexia screening for your children. It's going on today. He brought with him Cecilia Curlbaum, who overcame her battle with dyslexia. Good morning to both of you. Good morning. Good morning. Cecilia, let's start with you. Tell me a little bit about this battle you had with dyslexia. Well, when I was little, I had a really hard time reading and a lot of trouble with school. And I could read like an entire page of a book and not really be able to tell you anything about it. So my comprehension was really bad and school was just really hard for me. Now, obviously, there's a lot of kids out there that struggle in the classroom. Uh, what are some things that parents need to be on the lookout for maybe possible signs of dyslexia? Well, Matt, it's not just reversing letters or writing or seeing things backwards. The biggest symptoms are kids who don't like reading and kids who take too long in their homework. So if a child has been up past 9.30 doing homework uh, more than once or twice in the last month, they should probably come talk to me and see if there's a reason why the kids are struggling. So obviously, diagnosis is the most important thing to, to get these kids cured. And this is something you can cure. Right. And dyslexia is something, that, uh, a disability in the brain with the way the brain processes information. It's not a problem of poor parenting. It's not a problem of poor teaching. It's a way that the brain develops probably before kids start school and how it integrates auditory and visual information. You probably deal with a lot of kids that have some, some complexes because of this. Well, uh, girls are most often misidentified, like Cecilia, because girls, when they feel uncomfortable, they tend to turn it inwards. Where boys like you and me, when we're uncomfortable, we let everybody else know. Right. Uh, girls um, are misidentified as having anxiety or having self-esteem issues, where in fact there's a, a reason why they're having tr trouble in school. You know, we have some graphics I want to uh, show the audience so that way they can kind of see. Uh, maybe it does apply to their kid. Maybe these symptoms are something that their kid's dealing with, something that you dealt with, right, mm -hmm. Cecilia? Yeah. Yeah, so obviously uh, there are solutions, and so the solutions, as you were saying, why don't you repeat those? What, what would be some possible solutions to these symptoms uh, that people see right there? Well, if it's a brain-based problem, then it requires a brain-based solution, and the program is more about brain exercising than it is about teaching them new information. So uh, what's great about Cecilia is that she was willing to work so hard to overcome her problem uh, when she was finished with the program, she had gained developmentally, when we did a post-test, she'd gained developmentally 39 years measured over eight skills. So almost five years of skill uh, from a result of working for about three months. And it worked. Hmm. How do you feel today? I mean, it, it's no longer daunting to you? No, it's a lot better now where I can really see the difference. And you really enjoy learning? <laughs> yeah. Sometimes it can be just as frustrating as before, but you really know that you can do it if you try hard enough and that you aren't stupid but that you can do it. That's, that's, that, I couldn't have said it better myself. A poster child here for how you can overcome dyslexia.